Hello, this is quadratic equation lesson one. In this, I will discuss all kinds of concepts that are there in quadratic equation. First of all, what is the quadratic equation? Any equation of the form general equation a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. This is the quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Any equation of the form a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. This is the quadratic equation. Where a, b, and c are real numbers, where a, b, and c are real number, but condition is that a should not be equal to zero. Why so? Because if a will become zero, if a is zero, the equation will become b x plus c equals to zero, and this is not a quadratic equation. This is not quadratic equation. This is a linear equation. This is a linear equation. So a should not be equal to zero. B and C can be equals to zero. B and C can be equals to zero, but A should not be equals to zero. Examples, for example, two x square minus five x plus seven equals to zero. This is a quadratic equation because the highest power of x is two. Two x square plus eight x equals to zero. This is also a quadratic equation. Here, c is zero. Constant terms is not there. Otherwise, or you can say that five x square equals to zero. This is also a quadratic equation. Here, both b and c are zero. So these are the examples of quadratic equations. Next is roots of quadratic equation. A x square plus b x plus c. Equals general equation. This is general equation. Root. What is the meaning of roots? Root means the value of x which satisfies the equation. Value of x which satisfies the equation. That is the meaning of root. Value of x which satisfies the equation. Every quadratic equation will have two roots. Every quadratic equation will have Exactly two roots, and root means the value of x which satisfies the equation. For example, I am taking x square minus five x plus six equals to zero, and I know its roots are two and three. Roots are two and three. I will let you know how to calculate the roots. But for example, just try to understand what is the meaning of root. Roots are two and three. I am just explaining this. Two and three are the roots. If you put the value x as two, this will satisfy the equation. Two square minus five into two plus six is it equals to zero? This is four minus ten plus six equals to zero. It means zero equals to zero. Same way, x equals to three also satisfy the equation. X square minus five x plus six. This must be if x is equals to three root. So can I say this is three square? Minus five into three plus six. This is equal to zero. Can I say nine minus fifteen plus six? Is it equal to zero? Yes, zero is equal to zero. So very important. If very important, generalize. A x square plus b x plus c equals to zero. This quadratic equation in general always have exactly two roots. Exactly two roots. Root means let's say roots of this equations are alpha and beta. These are the roots. Exactly two roots. Root means the value of if you put the value of x as alpha and beta, this will satisfy the equation. It means that a into alpha square plus b into alpha plus c will always be equal to zero. This will satisfy. If alpha is the root, if beta is the root, a into beta square plus b into beta plus c will also be equal to zero. So that is the meaning of root. So root is the value of x which satisfies the equation, and every quadratic equation has exactly two roots. Now next is how to find the roots of the quadratic equation. How to find the roots of quadratic equation? There are two ways. One is factorization. That is done by splitting the middle term. You have to split the middle term. Splitting the middle term. 
सेकेंड मैथड इज स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला मैथड दैट आई विल लेट यू नो सो फर्स्ट इज फैक्ट्राइजेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल माई इक्वेशन इज एक्स स्क्वेयर माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स टू जीरो वी कैन टेक्स एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस इज क्वालिटी इक्वेशन नाउ आई एम फाइंडिंग द फैक्टर और फाइंडिंग द रूट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ फैक्ट्राइजेशन नाउ फैक्ट्राइजेशन मैथड से इज दैट यू हैव टू स्प्लिट द मिडल टर्म ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो आई एम जस्ट एक्सप्लेन द मैथड एयर दिस इज द इक्वेशन यू हैव टू स्प्लिट द बी दिस ए दिस बी यू हैव टू स्प्लिट बी इन टू टू पार्ट्स दैट इज अ मिडल टर्म स्प्लिट बी इन टू टू पार्ट्स वो सम वो सम इज इक्वल्स टू बी एंड वो प्रोडक्ट इज इक्वल्स टू ए इन टू सी वी हैव टू स्प्लिट बी दैट इज अ मिडल टर्म नंबर इन टू टू पार्ट्स वो सम इज बी एंड वो प्रोडक्ट इज ए इन टू सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन दिस केस आई विल स्प्लिट सेवन सेवन इज द बी कंपेयर दिस ए एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी विद एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस सेवन एक्स प्लस ट्वेल्व बट आई एम गेटिंग ए इज इक्वल टू वन बी इज इक्वल टू सेवन एंड सी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व बाय कंपेयरिंग वेन यू कंपेयर द इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वेयर एक्स स्क्वेयर कोफिशेंट्स आर इक्वल here a coefficient of x square is a here a coefficient of x square is 1 coefficient of x b is equal to 7 and constant terms are equal that is the meaning of comparison so i have to split the b that is middle term 7 into two parts whose sum is 7 sum should be 7 and product should be a into c that is 1 into 12 12 so i have to split 7 such that into two parts Seven into two parts, into two parts, whose sum is seven and product is twelve. So what can be? Can I say that I will split the seven into three and four? Three and four. I have split seven into three and four. You can see that their sum, sum will be three plus four seven. Product would be three into four. That is twelve. That is what I needed. So I will split this seven. As three and four, so that was the logic. You have to split the middle number that is b into two parts, whose sum is equal to b and whose product is a into c. In this case, a into c was one into twelve. Twelve sum was seven. So three plus four is seven. Three into four is twelve. So this will become x square three plus four into x plus twelve equals to zero. So I have written seven as three plus four. This was my equation: x square plus seven x plus twelve equals to Zero. Now, this will become x square plus three x plus four x plus twelve equals to zero. This is x x will come common x plus three plus again x will come common. Sorry, four will come common. Four will come common. This is x plus three equals to zero. X plus three will be common. You are left with x plus four. This is equals to zero. Now, product of two numbers is zero. So it means that either this is zero or this is zero. So x could be minus three because x plus three then will be zero, or x could be minus four. So root two roots are there, minus three and minus four. So can I say that minus three and minus four are roots where this equation will be zero? X could be minus three or x could be minus four. These two are the roots of this quadratic equation. X square plus seven x plus twelve. Second method is formula method. Formula method. If equation is a x square plus b x plus c equals to zero, this is the quadratic equation. Your roots will be two roots will be minus b plus minus plus minus b square minus four ac square root divided by 2a. For example, the same equation I will take x square plus 7x plus 12 equals to zero. Compare this with ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero. You will get a as one, the coefficient of x square. You will get b is equals to seven, 
you will get c is equal to 12. Now roots will be roots means the value of x we satisfy the equation minus b put the value of b your b is 7 minus 7 plus minus b square is 7 square minus 4 into a is 1 c into c is 12 divided by 2 8 2 into 1 this will give you minus 7 plus minus 49 minus 48 divided by 2 that is minus 7 plus minus 49 minus 48 root 1 by 2 this will give you minus 7 plus minus root 1 is 1 by 2 so there will be two roots one would be minus 7 plus 1 by 2 other would be minus 7 minus 1 by 2 this is minus 7 plus 1 by 2 minus 6 by 2 minus 3 minus 7 minus 1 minus 8 by 2 minus 4 again two roots you got the two roots you got the same as minus 3 and minus 4 so that is the second method formula method you can apply as per your convenience there is no preference which method is better whichever you find easier you can apply to calculate the roots of the quadratic equation i am taking one other another example that will make your concept clear how to find the root x square minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0 now I will find the root of this quadratic equation in both the methods with both the methods I discussed. First, uh, factorization. First, you should compare ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. You compare this, you will get a as 1, b is equal to minus 5, not 5. b is minus 5 and c is 6. That is what you are getting. Factorization, you know that we have to uh, split the middle number B into two parts. B into two parts, we have to split whose sum is sum is equals to B and whose product is equals to A into C. So here I will split, where is my B? My B is minus 5. I will split minus 5 into two parts whose sum is equals to minus 5, whose sum is minus 5 and whose product is a into c what is a 1 into c 6 whose product should be 6 i have to split minus 5 into two parts whose sum is minus 5 and product is 6 so definitely my two parts would be you can say that this will be minus 2 and minus 3 that you have to apply your common sense minus 2 and minus 3 because minus 2 and minus 3, their sum will become minus 5. Their product minus 2 into minus 3 will become plus 6. Now you can write the equation as x square. Now split the minus 5. You know you have split it minus 5 as minus 2 and minus 3. So I'm just writing. You have split it minus 5 as minus 2 and minus 3. Minus 5x will be get split as minus 2x and minus 3x. That's how the term will get split it. So this will become x square minus 2x minus 3x plus 6 equals to 0. x will get common x minus 2 minus 3 will get common x minus 2 this will equal to 0. So x minus 2 will get common you will left with x minus 3 this equals to 0. So a into b now a into b is 0. It means that either x minus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 3 equals to 0. So x could be 2 or x could be 3. These are the roots of the quadratic equation 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 are the roots of this quadratic equation. We can found the root by our formula method that was roots will be equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac upon 2a you know that b is minus 5 plus minus minus 5 square minus 4 into a is 1 c is 6 divided by 2 into 1 this become 5 plus minus this is 25 5, minus 5 square is also 25 minus 24 divided by 2 this become 5 plus minus root 1 by 2 root 1 is 1 5 plus minus 1 by 2 so you will get two roots as 
one is 5 plus 1 by 2 other is 5 minus 1 by 2 this is 3 this is 2 so again you get the same root as 2 and 3 so that's how we used to find the roots of the equation you can use whatever formula is convenient to you both are equally preferable so that was all about quadratic equations lesson one concepts i will continue with more concepts on quadratic equation in the next lesson thank you